I did finally a study, and I did it in China. And we ended up with eight patients who had AIDS, advanced AIDS, and we gave them three weeks of malaria. The CD4 cells went up to high levels of normal in all of them. The CD4s, again, are the, the cells that are killed by the AIDS virus. They went up to high normal levels, and we followed them for two years. Followed them for two years, and they stayed at those high normal levels. More recently, a study was done by others, but I was in touch with them in a, in a uh, city in Africa. The, many of the African tribes, tribal peoples, are against putting or taking blood. So they let them be exposed. And by the way, in the original studies, some of them were treated that way in this country, exposed to infected mosquitoes to give, get Vivax. They were able to do, the studies we did in China, we were only able to do the CD4 levels at that time. With these cases, they sent the bloods to laboratories in Germany and in the United States. And they found that the blood of these patients, most of them, just there was no virus detectable. Now, we don't have a long enough follow-ups, but we can at least say that this has been accomplished. And we should be giving more thought to boosting the immune system instead of giving drugs. We're in a position where I think we will be able to do it in large numbers several months from now.